Hey guys, Steve here. It's been a while. I've been I've missed making these. It's been so good. Have been on uploading a few videos. I've been in Japan. I had the flu for a while. Obviously, my my throat was shot. I tried my best to make a few videos before I left, so I could uh pump them out before I, you know, while I was on holidays. But I just couldn't. I was getting destroyed. But let's start off. Let's look at some returns. You know, I came back home. Oh, I don't know how many boxes there was. It was like 30, 50 million boxes just waiting. You know, I, it's my first ever holiday since I've been doing the whole buying and selling stuff. So, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how to, how I'd feel being away from everything. But I'll talk about it during the video. And I really appreciate all the support, all the messages, people asking if I'm okay, if I've died or everything else. And they've missed the uploads. They've missed this and whatever. Like, you know, I, I do appreciate it. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy this video. Let's look at some cards. Now, if you did remember a long time ago, maybe not a long time ago, it was probably like three, four months ago, I, I made a, you know, purchase video, mail day video. I got this huge Legend Era collection and I've spent so much money on it. I got some grades back on that. So I'm pretty happy. I got a whole bunch of these Gyaradoses in PSA 10. And I love this Gyarados. It's, it's a really nice card. I've sold a whole bunch of them. Super happy to get some tens. It's always great to complete the like the process. You know, find the cards raw, grade them, get them gem. I think it's it's a really good mixture of followers and viewers that I have on these videos. There's a bunch of people that you know do the same as me. They buy and they sell to try and buy more and make their collections bigger. There's some people that just only strictly buy and they just don't care about selling. They want to just buy the ones they like. They don't want to go through the process of selling. That's perfectly fine. And some people just like watching Pokemon card videos without even being interested in collecting. And I think that's completely fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. I hope one day you do get the collecting bug. It's not good for you financially, but it's it's really good for you mentally because it feels awesome to buy stuff. So two of these hard gold, soul, silver release campaign promos in the nines. I'm not really too sure. I mean, I looked at a few cards before, you know, I pressed the record button, but... Don't want to look at too much. We've got these two Thunder Knuckle and Plasma Gale, Clefairy and Eevee. Great looking colorless cards. One thing I really like about colorless, it just shows like the some energy gradient all through the card here. It's kind of just like blue, yellow, kind of like brownish into red, green, purple, bluish. And it's kind of just like the colors of the energy symbols going through the bottom of the card. And I, you know, I really think that looks really nice in the on hello card so I, I, you probably won't be able to ever miss that ever again now you look at this it's so obvious where it is but yeah pretty nice got 10 on the cafable oh got the nine on the trico now i can imagine mm, tiny bit of wear maybe yeah i mean the corner's not perfect at the top there well this might be a centering thing you know sometimes i i do submit cards that just teeter the line of Bad centering and I think a nine is fine. Realistically, this card trick I'll list it for like forty Australian dollars. I might make five dollars. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, I'm, I know. I actually know a few Trico collectors, and they're all really happy whenever I have new ones. They don't really care too much. A nine, ten, PSA twenty. Oh, it's Pichu. Now, I'll talk a little bit about the Japan trip. It's amazing. I've never traveled internationally. I've never traveled before, even my own country. I've only really been in the major city that I've been living in. Japan's amazing. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, I'm very happy that my partner, is, she's like a travel expert. She's really great at managing things and finding things and doing things and researching. So I kind of got to like take a back seat and she just did everything everywhere I wanted to go. But this trip was kind of impromptu. We just like planned it like three weeks prior and we didn't do too much travel, touristy stuff. We kind of just like walked around every major suburb and enjoyed it. What's wrong with my other card over here? This might be it. There's a little bit of a stain on the card there. Maybe something. There's sometimes you get like dirt stuck to it. It's probably it. Nine. But yeah, Japan is. I miss it so much. I miss being able to just like walk out of my hotel and there's like a family mart, 7-Eleven, all these other convenience stores within like 
10 seconds and there's like three ramen shops there's a basement ramen shop there's like a fifth floor ramen shop there's a 14th floor restaurant and it's all super cheap you get like wagyu beef just like so cheap <laughs> everything's like so reasonably priced nutella crepes just down the road love nutella eat that all day this ain't none of this agron and it's yeah it's i don't want to drag this video out too long because i'm you know i just got home this morning about eight o'clock it's roughly 11 now i just woke up i had an overnight flight this is amazing sp on 10 reviving legends super happy with this oh, i love this hollow palace belt spring autumn battle carnival psa 10 really happy this one stings alphathograph 9 this is a card these actually have like texture on them you can see here of all like the imprint it's not maybe it's not textured it's kind of just like you can see the ink that they've put on the card or like they're printing it's just like super raised up and it's really nice now this might be not good enough for like a regrade because a 10 in this card is like a thousand dollars more but it's not terrible and i will put it in the regrade consideration pile i don't regrade that many cards probably one every one every 100 maybe and only if it's like hundreds of dollars more but sometimes you know the chance between nine and ten is there pikachu soul silver a card like this one it's definitely one you want to you know try to get in the 10 because the price differential is just so high and this one here has got a little bit of a dent there tiny indent so i guess we get a nine we see pretty lucky because usually they would put this like seven or eight and it's got a bit of scratches so i'm happy for this to stay in nine this pretty much borderline a mint card to me got an umbreon nine probably same sort of thing oh what the fuck oh i already swore yeah this card has like some dirt stuck onto it jesus mint nine Hey, hey, hey. Okay, that's one of those ones I have to like put aside and maybe offer to someone at a discount. Oh, it's got this nasty scratch here too. Yeah, we maybe put that up discounted because that is not very mint. So we got a PSA 8 pit of. It's already. See, the corner here is a bit bent. I saw it just then in the line. You can see it there. You see how it's like got a raised lip? Yeah, gotta look out for those. I'm guessing that's why it's got a it's got an eight. Nothing else I can see is wrong with this card. Uh, a little line there. I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, unlucky for that. Oh, seven swanner. Well, at least I tried, right? This is a oh yeah, it's a bit of a little crease. These are so hard to find in your pre check so I'm happy to let some stuff like this slip. It does hurt, because you know that obviously is just lost money, $10, $15 down the drain. But, you know, it's a learning process too. And I also get to put it here, and other people get to learn. Got the 10 on the Flygon, that's awesome. This is a really hard card to get, as far as I'm aware. Any BWP card in these days, 11 years old. Man, being in Japan, and I didn't really focus on looking for cards that much, because... After like the first four stores I went to, I just realized that it wasn't doable. So this is a mint nine Jigglypuff, and I don't know what's going on down here on the bottom of this card, but maybe this shouldn't be mint nine. Ooh, eight on the Charmander. Gym promo. Overall, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe a bit of edge wear you can see up this bottom left. Eight's pretty fine, but yeah, the card stores in Japan aren't. You can't just. <laughs> honestly you can't just like go into card stores and just find cards at like even the market price because obviously they're a store they need to have margins they need to keep the lights on so you'll you'll tend to see that most stores just sell a little bit higher than the market price even being in japan and that's what i expected and that's what i kind of knew before going but seeing it firsthand and like buying some of the cards is pretty cumbersome you know everything's behind cases 
everything behind plastic cases. You have to ask an employee for everything. Even cards that are like 100 yen, you have to like get an employee to come through, ask them, you know, you got the language barriers, you got everything, and they have to open the, the case, you check the condition, if you're happy with it, you gotta go check it out, all this other stuff. It's a hell of a lot easier buying cards online, and you don't have to fly to Japan. Man, every single one of my PSA cases is just damaged. So sad. This card's got a crease here. PSA 9, they probably missed that. It's really bad on the front. I missed that too. Wow, that's really bad for me. Pretty bad from PSA 2. So down the bottom here, I've got another little dent to the front bottom. That's probably why this is a PSA 9. Dude, what is this submission? I mean, did I, did I get an easy grader? I mean, they are 9s, not 10s, but the cards are bad. Little bits of, like, everything on them. The Realu promo. Totodile 9. These are still so cute. The holo pattern is so good. Any LP holo just looks so nice. Oh, this feels so good just being back going through my cards. I really missed them. Paragon Z, Clash of the Sun, PSA 10. Finally, some good ones. Polo Toad, Soul Silver Collection, PSA 10. It, it's, it's surreal, man. Like, being away from the cards. Because, yeah, that's my whole life is the cards. Like, my whole life. And that's the way I like it. Like, I like how it is. I like my, I love, I love you know, you know, it's, it's, I spent a lot of time working. I spent a lot of time dealing with this stuff and it's pretty stressful, the amount of money and everything going through, but it's kind of what I enjoy doing and being away from it, even though it's in Japan, the one place in the whole world, which let me like kind of live through my cards. We've got a five on this card. Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah. It looks like someone just like straight up stomped on it right here. Oops, didn't mean to hit the phone. Uh, but yeah, being away was kind of... It's nice that I go to Japan. I can just go into any card shop and just look at the cards that I have at home. Maybe or look like uh, keep updated with like market prices. From now, from when I left like 10 days ago to now, there's some cards that have gone from like 20,000 yen to like 50,000. And like full art trainers are just going absolutely wild. Everything's just going crazy. You know, I brought a whole bunch of cards to Japan to like sell like PSA cards to my favorite store, Haruya. And, you know, that was fun doing a deal with them. I bought a trophy card from them as well. So at the same time, so that, that, that was a pretty good process. And we got 10, I'm going to revive legends is really good, by the way. And 10, how do you legends? Nine Espeon. Oh, 10 Espeon. It's our second Espeon. Oh, Dark Rush promo. Didn't think this would grade that high, but yeah. I traded some cards in, that was pretty good. Bought a whole bunch of cards from card stores. I think I spent around. If you exclude the trophy I bought, probably, how much did I spend? I don't know. My brain's not functioning. Probably around 500,000 yen, which is pretty modest for the amount that I moved through. So I, I didn't really notice that many things in it. It was really, Wow, this one's beautiful. This number one. With the swirl right in the middle. Wow. Unbelievable. Gotta check it. These sets do come in unlimited. So I really gotta check that sometimes. But yeah, I didn't I didn't spend that much on single cards as I really thought I would. And most of the stuff I bought, if I wanted to get those cards, I probably could have just bought them online for the same price as all less. Seeing the cards in person is not bad, but it really doesn't do that much because you're just like standing there in some shop looking at the card and the shopkeeper's like looking in front of you, staring at you while you're like looking at the card and you're just like, it's pretty daunting and you know, it's a little bit stressful. So we got the Gabite. I think I called this Gabite one once and someone commented saying Gabite lol. And so I'm really sorry. If that's wrong, <laughs> but my brain, you know, it t turns off towards the end of this. I, you know, I have like troubles kind of focusing long term. So doing these videos has been really good for me to be able to like stick to things and not jitter and not shake and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not trying to say that like something wrong with me, but that's just how I feel. I've got this beautiful looking. 
Discovery promo. Not on that one. Oh, I've wanted all my life to get one of these in 10, but they're just impossible. These copies are so clean too. I don't really know what more I can do. This is like, I opened these from sealed packs too, so they're pretty flawless. Bravery Gym Challenge 9, Trubbish Gym Challenge 9, or oh, Napoleon Gym Challenge 10, Ampros Gym Challenge 9. We're breezing through cards now. Ducklet Promo Gym Challenge. But yeah, buying cards in person is pretty awesome, but you get over it pretty fast with the amount of walking involved. I think I, we walked over like 150 kilometers in like eight days. Hundreds of thousands of steps, like 35,000 on the first day. My feet is kill. My feet are killing me. It's. I don't even know how to survive. This is a six. What's wrong with this? I can't see any major crease or anything like that. Oh, maybe. Oh, really? Is that it? So right here, there's like something little indent. Has to be the only thing. Crazy that they catch that and they put that as a six, but they let like the other cards go through with like no fault. Oh, we got a 10 on the Livani. Pretty cool. We got the Axu Enigma Egg Campaign PSA 5. Someone's going to enjoy having these cheap PSA slab for like $15 or so. Nothing wrong with this, I see. I think there's a little bit of a mark there. Hmm. Fair enough, I guess. It's not too bad. So I think we'll show like a few more cards. I'll finish up and we'll make some more videos throughout the night. Explain some more fun in Japan. I really hope you're going well. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. You know, all these guys, the support is insane. All the messages you send me. It's all great. I've got the best of XY Pikachu, normal PSA 9. Oh, that's rough. From what I can see, this card's pretty flawless too. Hmm. I know I say that a lot, but obviously those BWP cards I sent aren't that great. So you can't sit here and believe that I send flawless cards, but this card is like an XY non hollow It's pretty nice. There is something. Oh, yeah. oh, geez. I'm getting used to this again. There's something like right above my finger there. I don't know what that is, but hmm. I only got a bedroom where I can see. Maybe you guys can see something else with the best of XY Raichu, PSA 10. Got some 20th anniversary Misty card. Pretty good. Imakuni's Doduo. This one's also really good. We're probably on best of XY, non holo. Got the Flareon, Lugia, best of XY. Blastoise Spirit Link, Isegdor. These cards have actually really, really gone up. So if you have some of these or if you know, with some stores out there, these are like, you know, 20. When I say gone up, I mean just like in relative to what they were a long time ago. A lot of things gone up, but these are surprising considering they're just like uncommons. But they're like $30, $40 each. I'm pretty sure they are. I think one of them is. And that's pretty cool to see for like an uncommon in a set. So we'll finish up there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope my voice wasn't too bad. I hope my getting back into this wasn't too bad. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.